Uh, so yeah, we're on the championship week. We got the Missouri Valley Conference championships uh, coming up this weekend, Saturday and Sunday uh, in the Dome. Encourage anyone to, to get out and uh, come watch some really good track and field uh, from the conference. Um, going to be a really exciting uh, environment and a really, really exciting competition. It's going to be a pretty tight race on both sides, I think, and I uh, feel like we're in a good position. Uh, <clears throat> had a small group of athletes going uh, this, this past weekend, and uh, you know, last week I talked about we didn't want it to be necessarily be a tune-up. We still wanted to make some progress, and I think we were able to do that. I think six to seven athletes made significant improvements on their standings heading in uh, where they're at in their individual events heading into uh, this weekend. And so uh, everyone's lined up now. It's now you can kind of assess where everyone is at. Uh, we're, we looked pretty intent this morning at the, the conference descending order list and all the events and trying to figure out where we can maximize our opportunities uh, in all the different events and try to give ourselves the best chance to finish uh, as high as possible. So um, feeling good where we're at and just excited to, to let our kids get after it in their home track and see what we can do. Uh, any questions regarding track? How soon does that pre-meet poll come out and those predictions that they have on the men's and women's I think it should be out today or tomorrow um, on, on where that's at. So. Um, you know, we'll see where the coaches think we should should land. So, when it comes to having the conference championships at home, like what's the best kind of part of having that home field advantage? Is it like the layout of the track, the backdrop, just the familiarity with it? I think just the familiarity. We're in there every single day, and so uh, you know. It's just like any other home arena, uh, although, the, you know, you don't put 15,000 people in the dome for a track meet, but just knowing where everything is at, you know, warm up situation, you have complete control where you're, where you're at, you know, you're in your own bed, sleeping at night, you have complete control over a lot of the variables when we're on the road, you know, we have to dictate a lot of that as coaches and what we're doing, that kind of stuff. So um, that's the biggest benefit, I think, and just having the other teams have to travel. Is, is nice, and then um, you know, just talking about defending your home turf and, and having a chance to to do some special things at home in front of you know a lot of your family and friends. Most of our kids are from the state of Iowa, and so it's only a three you know three four hour drive at the longest for someone to come over and watch you know their relative or brother sister you know friend compete. So I think that's a big big boost for us. How do you see the the men's and women's <clears throat> race playing out? Kind of first guess as far as how you think it goes. Yeah, I think. Um, you know, on, on the on the women's side, I think we have an opportunity to you know push push the program forward. Illinois State looks pretty tough um, on on paper right now. They have quite quite a bit of strength and depth all over the place. And then after that, it's it's kind of uh, up in the air for the next kind of three spots. And I think um, you know we put things together, we can we can definitely push to be a top three finish, and that's going to be our goal heading into this weekend. Uh, on the men's side, we're in the thick of it for a conference championship. I think last year we uh, Illinois State got us by 14 points. Um, we won the outdoor title for the second year in a row. I know the guys are really hungry uh, to 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 win one at home and to to take an indoor title. I think last time we won is uh, 2009, and I know that's in the back of their head. And um, <clears throat> you know we don't we don't like to put. We just got to go execute. You know, maximize our opportunities. You know, compete loose and and with intensity, and uh, that's what they've been doing all year. Uh, the the consistency of our performances week in week out uh, has me thinking we're very prepared for this meet, and I know uh, the guys are going to be ready to go. So uh, I think we'll be in the conversation for a conference championship on the men's side. That's got to be our goal. Healthy and, and everybody ready to go, or are you going into it a little banged up <clears> with injuries? How are you? You know, it's, uh, it's, it's been an interesting year for, for injuries and illnesses. Uh, the flu has hit our team pretty hard. Uh, it just hasn't gone away. And so usually you get a spike and then, you know, it kind of fades away. But this year uh, we had a couple more people go down with, with some flu like symptoms last week. And so they took the weekend off. Um, but, you know, nobody really cares on if you're healthy or not healthy or if you're injured or not injured at this point. It's, you know, everyone from every team has some story like that along the way. So uh, you just got to kind of put that behind you. You go into the meet with who you got and you <clears throat> you get after it and, and maximize your, your chances to score points and put them in the best position possible to, to do that as coaches and uh, kind of see where the chips fall. But I, I do like our chances. All right. Thanks. Go Panthers.